Yo, 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 this is King Gunner coming to you live and direct. First and foremost, I want to say, go get your CMOS gold, 92 of the 102 minerals that your body is made of. Now, this CMOS gold is beyond real. This CMOS gold is beyond honorable. This CMOS gold does more than work. Look, a couple days I was off the CMOS. Look, look, as soon as I drink a glass or two cups, my honor comes back in a more sturdier manner. And um, I got 92 of the best sea species of sea moss gold. The other sea moss gold, you'll notice that it's very thin. And with the thinness, it breaks off so fast. So you see, about, you see how all these different little limbs and branches, those branches, when they get in the water, they are part of blowing up. Once they blow up, that's part of everything that you needed at 92 when you get to take this plant because it's going to blow up like this if you put it in enough water. And you get to take this 92 of the 102 minerals and make um, smoothies. You get to eat it raw once it's soaked up. You get to blend it and drink it like a juice form. You get to make soap out of it, some individuals do. You get to do a lot of different things with this sea moss. Mainly one time I was cooking on the stove and I burnt myself. And I hurried up and I put the sea moss paste because it turns into a paste when you blend it. And I put the sea moss paste on my skin. I never It never blistered up. So this sea moss has that, it's that kick, man. It's that energy. It's them cells replenished. Not cells destroyed or somewhat. They got to it. No, we're talking about scrubbing and getting them cells together where anything that's wrong with you, toxins, diseases, and these things. And it's not a cure, as they say. They said it's not a cure. The government said if I say it's a cure, I go to jail. So I can't say it's a cure. It's not a cure. But I'm going to say this to you. Whatever is wrong with you, it will bring you back up to good health, man. Whatever it is that's wrong with you. Now, let's go into all of the people who respect and honor the honor snatch. And all of the people worldwide, I respect the love and I respect the support. And I respect people using my name to try to get views. I don't have no problem with it. Even the dudes that's massing up and making up all these lies is the funniest thing in the world because I got a call the other day and my brother said to me, he said, you winning now, baby. I said, what you mean? He said, you're going in the right direction. I said, why? He said, when I go to YouTube, it's a thousand people speaking on King Erna. He said, that made me smile so much. He said, but more than anything, for you not to respond to these kittens made me smile even more. He said, because I saw the back and forth thing that you had going on. He said, I was going to tell you, you know, jump back on the message, you know, jump back on. You might got to smack some honors, like, you know, really let people know who you are because you're on a new platform. But at the end of the day, never mind that and keep going. And he said, be proud that there's other individuals mimicking you. They're mimicking who you are because they don't have no content. He said, everybody that mentions Snatch and Honor doesn't have content. If they did have content, they might honor your content, but they're not going to speak about it all the time. Now, I'm speaking of the ones that speak negative about it. And trying to use it. It's funny. Patent is everything that I do. I don't need your life is patent. I don't need your life campaign is patent. <laughs> I mean, bro, snatch your honor. Honor snatching is patent. I have a lawyer. Not a lawyer that I put on front street and say, this is so-and-so. This person does this for me. And you're faking fraud and all that. I'm talking about a lawyer. Right? I got individuals that have recorded me. And then getting proof that they getting didn't get my proof to do it. And I still ain't, you know, civilly go that route because I understand that some people gotta get an earn. And if my name right now is buzzing like that where men gotta say my name all the time, I would feel me after a while I would feel kind of strange. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I would feel weird to keep mentioning someone's name about someone who never kind of went far in reference to YouTube or acting or any type of thing. And I understand that 
I have a good message and I understand I know how to speak. I know these things about myself and I'm thankful for the ones who honor me and tell me this. But for the ones who sit back and watch and mimic, I think you're making the behind of yourself. I think you're making a behind of yourself when you say that you don't understand the message. I think you're making a behind of yourself when you say anything that has to do with me when I'm not caring about you. I don't go on your videos. I don't say nothing. You see who I just was had little problems with. Those guys are kind of at the top of the, the billboard on the YouTube side of things, right? But guess what? At the end of the day, I'm not on no level, side, mid, none of that. I'm a regular individual giving up honor in its purest form. And the people accept it. So I don't have to be like anyone. I don't have to steal no one ideas. You talk about a story, I'm going to talk about the story better. The reason why is because these are things that I lived before. And if there was really some individuals on here that lived that, I'm not saying that everybody had to, you know, have lived that. But if you haven't, you had to stay in your lane because at the end of the day, you make your content weak by snatching out, snatching out, and all that other nonsense. You don't know how to do it. You don't have the smoothness with it. You don't have the look. Your beard don't glisten like that. That's that Seamoss. Y'all saw it a couple weeks ago. It was raggedy. Huh? It was everywhere, and I was woofing on my back. That CMOS gold groomed me up very nice. And being as though I'm growing, I'm not going to knock myself for you kittens. Like, I'm not becoming an individual that everybody begins to understand the message and want to go in a direction of this positivity. Now, it's a different if I was selling hope. But King Erna don't sell hope. I don't sell hope nor dope. I sell pure honor. And if anybody... Anybody can really, really, really tell me that I haven't restored the honor or show me a proof where I didn't, I would kind of be quiet because I can put it to you on Instagram to where I show you where young children, young adults are contacting me every day about how their lives have changed when none of these kids care to even listen to you. And when they didn't listen to me at a time, because believe me, I'm not on no high horse. I'm just speaking all knowledge. But when they didn't listen to me at a time, I kept on talking until I found my angle of getting right there in their head for them to follow the right direction. Y'all said it wasn't Alpo. Y'all said it wasn't going to happen. Y'all said that speaking of Alpo too much wasn't going to work. Well, I'm a living proof that that rat have saved so many children's lives because they like, yo, after hearing that story, we don't want to be like that. We want to go in the right direction, and that's positivity. We don't want to even have a chance of waking up in a nightmare after going through what Rich Porter went through. We don't want to ever have to wake up and go through what Wayne Perry went through, riding around with that man the whole time, mimicking and catching and being and you know, showing how his character is and his loyalty. And before you know it, his loyalty didn't mean nothing. Within hours, days, weeks, the setup was right there. He's been planning to set them guys up the whole time. And when the youth hear about that, they follow King Erner because they say, you know what, damn. We want to get to the money. Now that we got to the money, King Erner saying, as soon as we get to the money, this is where the things of evil come in and people, along with the government, will take it away from you. Hello, that's the message. Hello, you hear now? Well, now that you hear that, you must understand that those children, those young individuals who went through the same lifestyle similar to every black child that is in America that's in the hood, but that child that has the same mindset as Alpo, Rich Porter, and AZ, they will be able to understand that message and get a clarity of it and say, whoa, keep working. I'm going to the cleaners. Then AZ ain't want to stay to the cleaners. I'm going to the cleaners. Huh. Rich Porter came home, had a chance to come home and change his life. 
He ain't come home and change his life. And look what happened to him. His best friend downed him out of here. Oh, I'm not going there. So here it is. It's two parts of it. And because you guys can't get across your own message, try to dissect and understand my message. My message is right here. Look, clearly. You have a chance of being your own man and being free and having a life out here. You have a chance of actually being something outside of a drug dealer, outside of a killer, outside of a rat. You have a chance to be something better than all of those things. But yet, yet, at the end of the day, you choose to do the wrong. At the end of the day, you choose to make the mistakes of wanting to follow the content of King Erna when you have your own content. You got your own message, but y'all so strung out on the fact that King Erna got the honor snatch and has patented already that your mindsets is like, wow. We can't believe it when you got your own content that can go viral also. You got your own mindset that can go viral also. But you're not caring about that. You're not caring about your own thing. You don't want to make no, you know, you don't want to go the hard way. You want to try to figure out how you piggyback off of everybody else. You can't piggyback off of King Erna because guess what? It's too honorable. It's too straight up and down. The message is clear. Y'all want to confuse the message only so you can try to prove that the message isn't of honor. But when it all comes down and boils down to it, that parent is having that child sit in front of that TV screen because they know King Erna is coming to speak some truth. They know King Erna going to tell them the do's and the wrongs. The spoils of war, the understanding of these things, why you're going to speak on or try to speak on something about King Erna and hoping and praying that at the end of the day, it clicks off of King Erna. It won't work like, like that, little brothers. I don't, I'm not mad at any of y'all. I'm telling you guys that you got to go into your own lane. You got to speak on what, what works for you. And I understand that I see a lot of y'all trying and y'all trying with my name. And this is what I'm going to give you the ability to do. I'm going to give you guys the ability that if there is a problem and you, you need some help, you need some views, I'll come and, um, you know, I'll do, a, I'll do a little sit down with you or something. 